Howdy. In this video, I want to talk about a question I get asked all the time. And that question is, where does it state in a code standard or recommended practice that I have to have two threads showing outside the nuts for flange bolted joint assemblies? So stick around and I'll tell you what I know about that subject. A long time ago, when I was a plant engineer, I was taught to always have two threads showing beyond the nut for flange joint assemblies. I never questioned it, I just enforced it during pre-startup safety reviews, during project punch lists. If the contractor did not have two threads showing outside the nuts, I would write them up and they would have to go correct it. But when pressed and asked where it states that in an applicable code, standard, or other recognized and generally accepted engineering practice, I haven't been able to find that. What I do know is that the ragged gaps that I deal with most for piping and bolted joint assemblies for new construction ASME B313 process piping section 335.2.3 states that bolts shall extend through their nuts such that there is complete thread engagement for the full depth of the nut. So that's for new construction. The other ragged gap that I deal with quite a bit is ASME PCC1 and what it states in there is that it acknowledges the new construction code requires full depth of the nut and that's this is in section 8.2 but it goes on to say that the full strength can be developed with one thread less than the complete thread engagement. So what that means is technically to comply with PCC1's expectations is I could actually see one thread of the nut, meaning the bolt or the stud is not fully engaged in the nut and still meet the intent of PCC1 for a bolted joint assembly. If you know of any other guidance documents out there that state that two threads need to be showing, please add your comments below. But I just wanted to share with you what the new construction and the post-construction codes that I'm most familiar with state about thread engagement for bolted joint assemblies. Hope this helps clarify some of those questions. And if you have any other comments or questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks.